Well, hello everyone. On a recent trip to Galveston on the Gulf Coast of Texas, while doing some work on board another vessel, a very interesting ATB passed by. ATB stands for Articulated Tug and Barge. These types of vessels are very unique. In this video, I will give an overview of how ATBs work, what they are used for, and also the advantages and disadvantages of ATB designed barges. First, we will look at a typical tugboat and barge configuration. Seen here, the towboat Jackson Scott is pushing a chemical barge up the Houston ship channel. For smooth waters such as this, just the boat physically pushing on the back of the barge held in place by a series of wires and ropes is sufficient to make the connection. However, when it comes to ATBs, a much stronger connection is needed to the barge. The towboat itself physically fits into a notch and then is physically held into place by a series of pins that extend out horizontally from the towboat. Once connected, the barge and the towing vessel function as one unit, much in the same way a typical ship functions. This towing vessel can clearly be seen inside of its notch. This is what the barge looks like when the towing vessel is disconnected. So the advantages that ATBs have over regular towing vessels are they are able to travel larger distances in unsheltered waters such as the Gulf of Mexico. The advantages that ATBs have over ocean going ships is the fact that they are a towing vessel and a barge means they are required to meet much less strict safety standards. For example, the number of crew required to operate an ATB is less than required to operate a ship thus lowering the total cost for the owner to operate the vessel. 